What's up YouTube, welcome to a new video. My name is Prince Basin. Today we're going to be talking about the top paying photography jobs or if you, let's say five top paying photography jobs that you should consider if you are into photography or if you're getting into photography, this might be something I should do. But always remember, you're not doing photography because of the money, especially when you start up until you become to business. But if you are in the business of photography, here are five top high paying photography jobs that you should consider it though. So before we get into today's video, make sure you head over to theretouchingmasterclass.com, www.theretouchingmasterclass.com. I have my beauty retouching course right there, right now, and enrollments are gonna close in a few days. So head over to, like I said, www.theretouchingmasterclass.com where you can get all the information you need to get about that course. The link is going to be in the description below. And if you aren't about the whole course life, then head over to my digital store where you can get my retouching essentials pack, my skin tone lots and my color lots. And I have some freebies there too, like my frequency separation actions and my, I think blue tone lots. I just have some freebies there. Definitely check that out. So let's get into five top paying photography jobs that you could do. So number one is being a commercial photographer. Now this is like the top of the top this is when you get paid thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars if you are a commercial photographer now some people are paid probably even millions being a commercial photographer remember you are shooting for adverts basically and your work is going to be in front of millions of people so people charge a lot when they do commercial photography so if you want to be a commercial photographer put it at the back of your mind that you're going to make quite a lot of money if you are a good commercial photographer and you have all the connections and you have everything you need to be a commercial photographer people charge twenty thousand dollars thirty thousand forty thousand fifty thousand dollars for a job but remember it takes a lot of work to get to that point where you can charge that amount of money and you have to have a lot of connections you have to work with the right companies it just takes a lot of work to get to that point where you are a high-end commercial photographer to make a lot of money so i feel like for photographers that is always like the top a lot of photographers want to be commercial photographers they want to shoot for companies like nike fenty beauty just top companies that advertise all around the world so if you can get those gigs then you're going to be rolling in a lot of money but at the same time it takes a lot like i said a lot of work to get to that point where you become a commercial photographer you're going to start small and you're going to grow it takes years of work a lot of people never make it to that point so put that at the back of your mind but yeah you want to make a lot of money think about being a commercial photographer number two corporate work corporate work pays quite a lot of money and if you do corporate work you realize that it's not quite a lot of work you know compared to other aspects of photography but you tend to make a lot more money than just shooting normal portraits um but it's just getting your leg into um the office that is typically the problem so corporate work people make quite a lot of money you know shooting corporate headshots for um companies doing um documentary photography for companies all those stuff people companies tend to pay a lot more than individuals remember it's a uh, company it's like a full entity like just one individual so the money that a company would be able to pay you for the most part one individual will not be able to pay you that kind of money except you are working with like really high-end individuals but companies tend to pay a lot more money so being a corporate photographer is going to earn you a lot more cash now what's the thing about being a corporate photographer that is not that great it's just like you tend to shoot almost the same types of pictures all the time headshots for executives and yeah all those stuff so it's like really boring work but at the same time financially it is really really rewarding so try to check out corporate photography you're looking to make a lot more money from photography now number three is the one that we have all done or probably we have all done and if you can build a business in this then you're going to make quite a lot of money and that is wedding photography wedding photography is like <laughs> it's like i don't know it's huh, i don't know i don't know how to explain it if you can <laughs> if you can be a well-known wedding photographer then you are going to be making a ton of cash every every year every damn year in fact there are wedding photographers that are booked for like the next two years because people are always going to get married forever people are going to get married and people want to capture that special moment and keep it for the rest of their lives so wedding photographers are really important and they pay wedding photographers thousands of dollars if you're in nigeria um hundreds of thousands of naira so that people so you can shoot people's weddings it's just 
yeah you guys know it i'm pretty sure you have shot the wedding before if you are watching this and you've made a lot of money now the um downside of wedding photography is that it is freaking stressful wedding photography is probably the most stressful part of um aspect of photography I, I i think personally for me because i don't like shooting weddings but a lot of people enjoy shooting weddings so if it's something that you enjoy doing you love shooting weddings you love interacting with people definitely check it out if you can build a successful wedding photography career you're going to make a lot of money now let's move you know down a little bit and talk about family photography now if you shoot weddings then you can actually just add like family portraits to the side and it's something that makes quite a lot of money too especially if you're working with pretty high-end clients if you can set up your studio to be um to look quite high-end and you are in an area where you have high-end clients you're going to make quite a lot of money a lot of people like shooting family portraits i mean it's nice to take pictures of you and your family almost every year so you have like uh, a nice catalog of how the past few years has been with your family you can see the growth of your kids and all that stuff so a lot of people like to invest money in um, family portraits and like i said if you can get the high-end clients into your studio you're going to make quite a lot of money because from shooting one high-end client you're going to move to another to another and it's all about word of mouth and you're just going to grow your business is going to grow i know a few family portrait photographers that are making a killing so put down the list if you want to make more money as a photographer try family portraits if you're interested in stuff like that you're going to make quite a lot of money so last one i'm going to talk about today is food and product photography it is a part or a niche of photography that a lot of people are not into and that just makes the people in that niche make quite a lot of money because it's a little bit more controlled than every other part of photography there are so many people that are looking for people to shoot their food especially high-end food photography there are just very little photographers that do that and if you can become a master at that you're going to make so much money because there are so many food companies out there there are so many chefs there are so many restaurants out there and these people do not have photographers or high-end photographers that can take high-end pictures of their meals and their products and all that stuff and show to the world so unlike portrait photography where you have a ton of photographers that are out there that can you know make this thing happen and you know commercial photography and wedding photography that has millions of photographers in there food photography is a niche that a lot of people are not getting into so like i said if you can become really good at it and you can build your business as a food and product photographer then you are going to make quite a lot of money because in your area you might be the only person i can remember for the longest time in nigeria i knew just one person that was seriously into the whole food photography thing and it was a niche that he didn't have a lot of competition in so like i said very little competition very high margin so put that back in your mind anyways these are five photography jobs gigs that i feel like will make you a killing if you are really good at it and you've built a business in it i do a few i do commercial photography i do corporate photography and i used to do wedding photography but right now it's just commercial and corporate but yeah if you guys want to make more money check out these ones if you have any other ones that you feel like are really lucrative put it in the description below let me know i mean we're all learning here and i'd like to know so maybe i could try my hands at the options or the opinions that you guys are going to give this is the amazing thing about photography there are so many things that you can do as a photographer but yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video. Like I said, go to www.retouchingmasterclass.com. I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can check out my new beauty retouching masterclass. It is an amazing course that you should take if you want to improve your retouching. And also, check out my digital store. You might like something there. My skin tone lots, my retouching essentials pack. Never can tell. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have an amazing day. Peace.